What makes us want to eat when we're not hungry? Well, our brain. Our brain is what makes us to eat when our brain is what makes us want to eat when we are hungry or when we're not hungry because it is a signal for action. And because starvation has been a long-term companion for humankind for the entire time we've been on the planet Earth, which is millions of years, we have lots of things built into our physiology to make sure that we're getting enough to eat. And because we can use fat to store fuel for the future, we would also be driven to try and overeat when food was abundant. Now, we have lots of ways that hunger can be driven. This is, hunger is just a signal from your brain to seek out food and eat it. And sometimes people will have certain uh, feelings in their body, like their stomach growling or pains, or you'll have an idea in your head, but it often will result in those same sort of feelings because those feelings in your stomach, they come from your brain too. If your brain wasn't working, you wouldn't have those feelings. So what we need to understand is that you have feelings from inside your body because of things that are going on with your physiologic balance in your internal environment. And because we learn how to eat, there are lots of cues in our environment that will signal to our brain food is available and we should eat it, whether we're hungry or not. So the thing is, is that what your brain will do is if you're in the or not, it will happily supply you with feelings of hunger because it knows that in terms of long-term survival, it's more important that you should eat when you're not hungry than not eat when you're not hungry. So nature didn't really ever offer us this long-term abundance that would go on and on and on throughout the year because typically the weather and the seasons would mean there are big periods of food scarcity. So we have built into our physiology a drive to be hungry even when we don't want to eat, which is just a signal from the brain. So now we need to figure out how to manage that so that we're not plagued by it and that our hunger doesn't turn into food preoccupation, which is miserable.